25. Belonging. Dr. Wayne A. Meeks, in discussing the early church, says of the language of the New Testament and the early church that it is the language of belonging. The early Christians are told by Paul of their obligation and privilege of being members one of another. Ephesians 4.25 He tells them that they are the elect of God, they have a calling in him, they are loved by God, and they are known by him. He doesn't forget them. They belong to Jesus Christ and to one another in him. This Paul states as a fact. He also states that the Christians of his day were given to disagreeing with each other, sometimes intensely. Some were involved in very serious sins. Others proved to be false believers and left the fellowship. Some were loose-tongued and backbiting, even about Paul himself. Paul does not spare the church. He gives us a very blunt and honest picture of it, as James does. Which of Paul's pictures of the church is the true one? The answer is that both are. Christians are saved sinners, but sinners still. Their behaviour is sometimes disgraceful and even evil. At the same time, the Christian community is used by God to bring his saving truth to all men. It is thus a great and powerful instrument of divine grace. We can, by seeing only the human side of the church, grow weary of all the bickering and sin and separate ourselves from it. In doing so, we separate ourselves from God's appointed community, we cease to be members one of another, and we strain our membership in him. We are never told that church membership is sweetness and light, problem-free or smooth sailing. Simply that, in spite of all these things, it is a blessed fact 